Hey folks, Stretch here from the 72nd Virtual Fighter Wing here to talk about man-in-the-loop weapons with uh, BMS 4.33. This is a new class of weapons that we're given access to in BMS. Uh, they include, for the F-16 at least, the AGM-130 cruise missile and the GBU-15 guided bomb. Uh, these weapons, what they all have in common is that they have video cameras mounted on them that transmit to a data link pod on your jet that allow you to steer the weapon and fly it yourself after you launch it. So in order for this to work, you need to have the specific data link pod that works with the weapon you're carrying. We're carrying the GBU-15, which means we need to load the AN-AXQ-14 data, data link pod, which we've done on the center pylon. Um, before we get started, you're going to want to power on uh, your GBU-15s on the SMS page. This takes, uh, um, this takes about three minutes like Maverick, so uh, make sure that you get it done early. Once it's powered on, uh, on the weapon page, you'll see video camera from the weapon itself. This is being transmitted through the pylon. Uh, there's a couple other things around here that I want to talk about. Um, this OSB here that says strapped, that's the current weapon mode. Right now it's strapped to the jet. Once you launch it, it'll say loft. That's when the weapon is guiding itself to the target. Um, if you hit TMS up, it'll switch modes into transition, and that's when you can fly it towards the target. Um, you can control its uh, yaw, but not its pitch in that mode. Um, when it's close to the target, another TMS up puts it in terminal mode, and that's the uh, mode um, where you can control both yaw and pitch in full maneuverability towards the target. Uh, just above it is the fuse arm button. You can arm the weapon at any point uh, during its flight, so you want to arm it only when it's assured that you're going to hit the target. Um, the uh, pod video OSB over here, that tells you whether the video is being transmitted through the data link pod or directly from the weapon. Uh, after the weapon launches, you're going to want to establish communications with the data link pod, and this pod video will light up. Uh, you can change the polarity here with white on black, black on white. Um, and this button here switches between the forward and aft antennas. On the HSD here, you'll see yellow lines indicating the transmission and reception range of the forward antenna. If we toggle to the aft antenna, you'll see that uh, the aft antenna has a smaller reception range. Your job after the weapon launches, of course, is to keep it within the um, reception range of either the forward or the aft antenna. And you do this by flying it basically with the HSD. You'll see a little cross indicating the location of the weapon on the HSD. Um, on the HUD here, in the center, we have a uh, small circle. The circle indicates where the weapon camera is looking. If I, uh, let me turn off autopilot here. Um, if I switch the SWE back to the weapon page, you see I can control it with the uh, cursor switch. So let's turn towards our target now. Um, it's this air base here. So all we have to do is, all we have to do is uh, point the weapon at the air base. Uh, let's find it here in the video. Where'd it go? There we go. Okay. So we just point it at the air base like so. Uh, and then when we're ready, we drop the bomb. Now, th what we're, the first thing we're going to do after we drop the bomb is fly the airplane. The GBU-15 is pretty heavy, so we're going to have an immediate pitch situation or a roll situation that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, I'm also, we've got a DLZ on the HUD. You can see here, I'm waiting until the carrot's pretty far within the DLZ so that we have lots of maneuverability in the terminal phase to hit our target. Uh, we're looking pretty good right now, so let's go ahead and pickle. You'll notice that the bomb comes off the rack immediately. These bombs are always hot, so they pickle immediately. Now what we have to do is wait for the pod, the data link pod, to, um, to locate the bomb. We're coming out of the forward antenna's range, so let's switch to the aft antenna. And you can see here we've established communication with the bomb, and it's flying towards our target. It's in loft mode right now, which means it's flying itself. Um, and it's starting to drift away from the airbase. So let's hit TMS up here and switch it to terminal mode. And now we can steer it. We want to steer it towards our target. And uh, let's say our target is uh, this building right here. We're going to hit this building right here. Then arm the fuse by hitting fuse arm. Now in terminal mode, we can hit TMS up again to lock a specific part of the building. You can see now it's ground stabilized and it's locked that specific part of the building. That's exactly what it's going to hit. I'm switching my attention between flying the jet and flying the bomb to make sure that I don't lose control of either of them. We can kind of move our target here and hit TMS up again to lock a different part of our target. And now it's just a matter of waiting for the bomb to hit and watching the fireworks. All right, if we look over our shoulder, you can see it's a good hit. And that, my friends, is man-in-the-loop weapons. 
So we still got pod video on. If we wanted to launch our next bomb, uh, all we have to do is press this button, and then we go back to video, pylon video from the next bomb. Don't forget to cursor zero before you hit uh, your next target. And uh, that's about it. So man in the loop weapons, as you can see, they're high concentration weapons. You kind of have to get good at splitting your attention between looking outside at the view around you and looking at the uh, um, the MFD. You definitely don't want to bore sight yourself on the MFD, or you could run into um, or you could run into your wingmen or something because you're not paying attention to where you're going. But it allows you to kind of launch a bomb at the vicinity of a target without really knowing exactly where it is. Uh, you don't have to set a precision steer point. You kind of just put it in the vague vicinity of where you think the target is. And then you pickle once you're in range. And then using the video, you just kind of figure out where it is the bomb's supposed to be on its way down. And that's pretty neat. Um, there are uh, only a couple different aircraft that can carry these weapons. Right now, I'm flying an F-16 D-40, which can carry the AGM. Uh, sorry, which can carry the GBU-15. Um, so you'll have to look in the Dash 34 to see which aircraft can carry which man-in-the-loop weapons. That about does it for man-in-the-loop weapons. Uh, I encourage you to look at the Dash 34, which has a lot more information about the uh, differences in capabilities between the uh, different generations of man-in-the-loop weapons. Uh, until then, however, uh, this is Stretch for the 72nd Virtual Fighter Wings signing off.